The thinnest and most durable Samsung Z Fold yet. Samsung just announced a couple of new devices, which includes the new Flip, the new Galaxy Watch 4, and even Galaxy Buds. In this video, we got our hands on the Samsung Galaxy Fold 4. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isidus Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. We're talking about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4, which just got announced. First off, it now comes in this amazing beige that speaks to my aesthetics. I mean, the bronze foldy of last year was a good step in the looks direction, but this just brings it home. And like, there isn't a pink version unlike with the Z Flip 4, so this is my next favorite. And I do have a separate video on this, I'll link it up here and down below in case you're interested to see it. Anyway, back to the Z Fold 4, it also comes in black and green, although obviously I'm all for the beige, which almost looks as if it's white. We get the same form factor, a thin candy bar folded, which opens up to a bigger screen. So yeah, it's the same folding screen experience, except that screen is now supposedly stronger and there are smaller bezels. But this new fold is now 17 grams lighter than the previous fold, which is a good thing for my tiny hands at least. It's also a slimmer phone, which again is a great thing for me because I've always found the fold phones to be a little bit too thick. Again, tiny hands. And even that hinge is thinner. Samsung also guarantees 200,000 folds and IPX8 resistance, which means 30 minutes in 1.5 deep water. We already knew that because that's what Samsung guaranteed with a previous fold. Outside, that's a brighter outer screen, Samsung claims Gorilla Glass Victus, and the phone is made out of armor aluminum, hence Samsung's claim of the most durable fold yet. Okay, so to recap, there are three cameras on the back, a punch hole selfie camera up front on the screen, and that disappearing in display selfie camera on the bendy screen when unfolded. Disappearing for your uninterrupted viewing pleasure when you're using this phone as a tablet. It's still pretty cool, but yeah, this isn't new. This is something we saw on the previous phone. That main camera, the ones on the back, that's been updated. We have a more powerful 50 megapixel shooter now versus the 12 megapixel we found on the previous Fold. Which is great, the Fold already had good cameras on it, at least compared to the foldables it got launched with, like the Flip. But now, it looks like Samsung's moving to improve those cameras even more. These cameras should also be better at low light shooting. And of course, we got 3 times optical zoom and 30 times phase zoom. For all the zoomed in moon photos, you know. And you can also still shoot 8K with the rear cameras. But yes, with that form factor alone and all those cameras, there are many different iterations of shooting with this phone. Shoot with the rear camera folded, shoot with the front camera folded, shoot with the rear cameras unfolded, front cameras unfolded, selfie cameras in screen unfolded, rear cameras bent, selfie cameras bent. You get the idea. With a folding form factor, you also get my favorite way of taking selfies with this phone, the rear camera selfie. Honestly, a great way to get selfies with a nice big screen. There's also the flex mode, which is a great and easy way to shoot your own videos or even your own OTDs. But yeah, with this phone and all those cameras and how it bends, the possibilities are endless. So I'm really happy to see that they're improving the cameras on here. Anyway, here are some quick samples. Hi. Wide. One X. 3x Jamie oh my god I love it smile this is 12x audio zoom Leia Mary what's up okay we are this far wide also 4k on this and this is what that looks like 1x wide 1x 3x pestering Mary Mary's orange shirt and Jamie on this and then back okay <laughs> back to wide and you also have 8k with the rear cameras this is 1x and this is an alcohol bottle <laughs> this is 6x and back to 1x nice so this is flex mode as you can see we have the screen up top we have a preview controls you have the taskbar at the bottom there is video being shot by the front-facing camera of the z fold 4 
This is 1080p. And it's just me, hello. <laughs> right, perfect. Actually, amazing form factor because this now allows me to just prop the phone up anywhere and I'll be able to shoot with a front-facing camera. The front-facing camera of, well, there are two fronts, right? The front-facing camera when the phone is folded. This is 1080p, Full HD 30fps. Uh, there's also 60fps. 30fps, there's also 60fps. Unfortunately, on all of these modes up front here, you can zoom in or out. You have like the rear cameras for the flexibility. Yeah. <laughs> Because this basically unfolds into a tablet, the main selling point of the Fold phones have always been multitasking. The newest addition to the Fold 4, the taskbar. Basically, it's this little bar that shows up. It makes navigation and multitasking easier. From here, you can switch between apps, launch multiple windows, drag and drop apps, launch app pairs. You get the idea, basically, just something that makes multitasking on a flat surface without a keyboard or a mouse less cumbersome. Of course, we're also getting an improved flex mode and app optimization. Teens, Zoom, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, just some of the apps mentioned that Samsung will be optimizing for this phone. So yeah, we might actually have a solution to Instagram and or TikTok looking so weird on bigger tablet screens. So though I didn't get to try all of these optimizations when I had my short time with a Z Fold 4, I'm pretty excited about it. Maybe scrolling on Instagram won't be so awkward anymore. And finally, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip, meaning that's a powerful phone. It revs 128GB RAM plus 256GB storage, upgradable to 1TB. This thing reps a 4,400mAh battery with fast wireless charging, with Samsung promising 50% charge in as fast as 30 minutes wireless charging. And also, yes, this is compatible with the S Pen, and no, there is no slot for the S Pen, although there are now cases that help with that. Right, that was our first look at the Samsung Z Fold 4. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you're into the new improvements of this new phone. Of course, this is just my limited time with the phone, so I'm looking forward to being able to test this out more. In that vein, let me know what you want to see. If you want to see a camera vlog test or a social media test with this phone, comment down below. All info on pricing, specs, availability, I'll also link in the description box. That's it for today. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time, you guys.